So now, first, I assume that most of you really know what dependency injection is. Just a quick uh, refresher. So dependency injection, if you boil it down to a very easy sentence, means an object does not take what it needs, it gets what it needs. Um, I know that's not a very scientific or academic definition, but I think it solves the purpose. Um, so if you look at my example, the happy service, since the happy service can only tell you if you're happy or not, depending on the weather, if it has a weather service, uh, you need to initialize the weather service uh, for the happy service. So um, this would be one approach of doing that, right? So in the constructor for the happy service, you, you have a, uh, the weather service. It's, uh, please don't do that, it's whoa. Because um, how do you test now the happy service in isolation? Whenever you want to test the happy service, you would automatically test the weather service. Those two classes are not tightly coupled, and as we all know, tight coupling is really bad. So one way of solving that would be to inject inject the weather service, an instance of the weather service, into the construct of the happy service um, so that your um, happy service always has that. Now that makes it easy to test because in your test case you simply can new up a mock weather service that always returns true or false uh, and you can test your happy service independent from the weather service. Um, now dependency injection in Ruby, um, it's an interesting topic there. Actually a couple of, or a few frameworks out there, um, some of them are needle, Morphine has recently been started by a guy at GitHub, and there's uh, Mindy. But uh, if you like search for dependency injection in Ruby, you will see uh, most people say you don't need it. Ruby has some built-in functionality to, to deal with that. Um, quite honestly, I do not totally agree. Um, I think there is a place for dependency injection in Ruby. And um, I came up with my own little framework for dependency injection. Um, it's built upon a little piece of magic, a gem called method decorator. You see how in before the um, before the initialize method on my happy service, I have this plus requires. This plus requires comes from this uh, awesome method decorator gem. If you are not familiar with it, please check it out. Just go to GitHub and search for method decorators. It'll be the first thing that comes up. It's created by a guy called Michael Fairley, and I really admire him deeply. Um, this little plus requires um, is a method that gets executed before and after you call the constructor for the happy service. So um, this basically means if I initialize my happy service, it will automatically get an instance variable called weather service that is set with a weather service, and it will also get a setter for that weather service, so you can change it on the fly. Now you ask yourself, like, where do I get my weather service from? I get it from here. On my weather service, on the initialize method, I have this provides around it that tells my dependency injection container that's totally hidden from you that, hey, this is my, um, my weather service. Um, now there's, uh, you see how in the weather service I use yet another, um, another uh, location service and in my sunny method you see I'm asking my location service, hey, is it sunny? Yes, it's sunny if we are in Boulder. Um, so testing your happy service is now super easy. You mock out your weather service you uh, new up an instance of the happy service, you set it to the, uh, you, you set the, the weather service instance variable with your mock and you test whatever you need. So that allows you to have a tight, uh, the, the loose coupling between those two services. Testability is awesome. Um, there are a few um, disadvantages though. It, it, some people might say it's harder to debug because you actually don't know where does my weather service come from. Um, it, it's a piece of magic that appears out of thin air. Uh, that is correct, um, but I think the advantages uh, outweigh the, the, this tiny disadvantage. Um, and there's this, a couple of limitations that I'm working around right now. Um, so each, each class needs to have a constructor initialize method so that you can put those require and provides around it, and um, each class has to extend the service provider module. Um, and that's it. There's my GitHub and my contact. Uh, please yeah, feel free to send me any questions or whatever you have on email. I think. We have like 30 seconds left for questions. Sweet.